Hello everybody, today is Wednesday the 26th of May 2010 and I am MonkeyDude1313 here to make a video for you guys. I have two things I would like to talk about. If you are subscribed to my MonkeyDude channel, you've already heard about the new moderator function and if you're subscribed to most of the big name YouTubers on YouTube, you've probably already heard of it as well. But if you're not subscribed to any of those or you just want to hear it again, here you go. The moderator function on YouTube is a little module that you can put on your YouTube channel. Right now it's only available for partners, but starting tomorrow, the 27th of May, it will be available for everyone. You go and you, en you add that module onto your page, and then you can ask a question, or you can ask for suggestions and things, and then the community that watches your videos, anyone who visits your channel, can enter in an idea, suggestion, question, etc., and post to the channel. Meaning, it will show up in that moderator box. Also, everyone can read through what has already been posted and then thumbs up or thumbs down, depending on if they like it. So, for an example of what you use it for, on my MonkeyDude channel, I was asking for what people would be interested in seeing in a video from me. So I said, if you have any questions that you think everyone would benefit from uh, hearing the answer to, or if you just have a topic you would like to hear my opinion on, or just anything in general like that, post it in there. And so people have done that. I think I've got 25 or so suggestions. And then I've got about almost like 150 votes, meaning people have gone through and thumbs up ideas that they thought would be a good for a video and thumbs down ones that they didn't like a video for. So that's an a example of how it would be used. So what we're doing on the 5 Awesome Cubers channel here is, since we are going to be running contests soon, no guarantees on when, I'm just going to say soon-ish, we are having uh, that moderator function on our channel, so you can go post ideas of what you think would be a good contest idea. Don't, I would suggest not saying 4x4 four four speed self, for two reasons. One, we've probably already thought of it, and two, it, that doesn't really include everyone. That means anyone who participates who's really fast will win almost every time. So it'll be a little bit of cont uh, competition between the top few people, and then everyone else is just out of it. They don't have a chance. So be a little more creative with your ideas, like uh, reassembling a cube was in Rose's video on Monday. Uh, other things, you know, something similar to that. Don't make them crazy, like solve a cube and then do ten jumping jacks and then solve another one or something like that, but um, be creative with your suggestions. So, if you want to, go, you click either here or here, I'm not sure which it is, and uh, click on the name 5 Awesome Cubers to be taken to our channel to uh, submit your idea, if you have one, and feel free to check back at random times and thumbs up ideas that you like and thumbs down ones that you don't like, so we can get a feel for what you guys would think is a good idea or not. Of course, we do have ideas of our own, so even if none of you post anything, we will still be having contests, but we just want to see what you guys think, so feel free to go there. Now, the rest of this video will be a very brief tutorial on how to solve these. I will not be going into detail uh, on specific little things, uh, but I will be talking about it. So, if you know how to solve these already and you don't want to listen to this, uh, feel free to go check out the moderator function, and uh, I will see you guys next video. But for anyone who is interested in learning how to solve those, or uh, figure learning what I do to solve it, I guess, uh, continue watching, and uh, we'll solve it. To solve the 3x3x5 and 3x3x7, you need knowledge of two different puzzles. First one is the 3x3. You probably probably already know how to solve it. Next, you need knowledge of the domino. You probably already know how to solve that one as well. If you can solve both of those, then you can solve the 3x3x5 and 3x3x7 as easy as pie. But if you can't, you can go to a tutorial made by Pesvic or random other people on YouTube or my channel uh, when I get around to making one. So with that being said, how do you apply it? Well, on both the 3x3x5 and 3x3x7, you solve the middle three layers as if it were a 3x3. Very, very simple. Since you don't care about these, you can move them around as much as you want, and you don't have to worry about it. Once you're done with that, solve the second and sixth layers, these two out here, like a domino. You may move these groups of three pieces around, and just use the moves M, U2, M prime, uh, and M2, U2, M2, and things like that to move them around until they're solved. Then, you solve the last two layers, like a domino, and you're done. So that's the quick explanation. And rather than going through a long explanation, I will go through an example solve 
of the 3 by 3 by 5 So, if you understood what I was just talking about a second ago, you don't need to bother watching this, and you can go and solve your puzzles. But, uh, this little explanation here will just have a walkthrough solve with the few algorithms you need to learn. So, like I said, you're going to be solving the middle three layers. This is a cross piece, this little mid middle piece here. So you want three of those. No, four of those, sorry. Orange, blue, and then you need a red one. There's a red one there, very simple, and a green one. So you're done with the cross. Now, you need corner pieces. Turns out that I got the edge piece with it as well. Very, very simple. So that one doesn't go there. Uh, this one actually goes in there. Another piece. And then I'll just put the F2L piece in there as well, because it's already done. Cor uh, corner piece, and F2L piece, and one more time, you want this one, corner piece, and F2L piece. Two layers, right? Done. Now, do your OLL algorithm on the top layer. So now you have either white or yellow on top, which means you can now turn these two layers. Now, solve this layer like a 3x3. Three three. Turns out I have a G. So I'll do that. And I have solved the middle three layers. If you get into parity, do an M prime H perm, and then do that back. And you will switch these two, which don't matter if they're switched. And you will switch these two, which will be your parity. Now, you solve the rest like a domino, completely ignoring these middle three layers. So, cross piece as normal. Over here, cross piece down here, cross piece down here, and cross piece down here. Now you have the bottom cross with it matched up with the centers. It doesn't matter if these groups of three are messed up, you will be able to solve those at the end. So, use your domino algorithm to put this down there. R, U, R prime, U prime, R. Bingo. There's a corner right down there. This one, same thing, and then same thing here, and finally, same thing here. Okay, so now you're done at the bottom layer, now you're moving on to the top layer. Now, you're going to do your algorithm to do PLL, or you're going to do your parity algorithm, which for this one is in the description to uh, under this video. So now I have solved the corners on that layer, and now I'm going to solve uh, the edge parity. And there we're done with the top layer like a domino. And then we're going to use, like I said earlier, we need to switch these three. This one's already solved. So we just do an M prime, U2, M prime, U2. And we have solved the 3 by 3 by 5 Simple as pi, like I said. Solve the middle three layers like a 3 by 3 Then solve the top and bottom like a domino. And then solve the top and bottom again on the 3 by 3 by 7 like a domino. And you're good to go. So this was the extremely simplified version. All algorithms needed to solve the domino are in the description down there. And if you don't know OLL, just use FruRuff and Soon, and you'll be good to go. See you guys next video.